Welcome back. We've just finished row six on the double cable square. And you can count your stitches, your rows from the back by two, four, six. Chain one and turn. Now row seven is the crossed cable row. And so we are going to ch chain one and single crochet in the first two. It's this pattern we do that in every row. You start out with the single crochet in the first two single crochet. So let's do that. Now this is for the crossed cable. We're going to skip two post stitches. So skip these two and front post treble in the next two post stitches. So that's yarn over twice. Skip this one and this one. Go around the bar. Of the third one through two, yarn over through two, and yarn over through two. And that's the front post treble. We're going to do that again. Yarn over twice, go around the bar of the next front post stitch, and make a treble. Okay, now we're going to work behind the post stitch just made. So we're going to have to go stick our hook behind these two stitches and front post treble in the two skipped stitches. So yarn over twice, go behind these two stitches, okay, go behind them, and then make put your hook around this front post double there and back up because you're still working behind these two and draw up your loop and they'll see I only got three loops on my hook so I need to do that again yarn over twice go behind these two around the post make sure the two post stitches you've just finished are in front of your work draw up a loop now Make sure you have four loops on your hook after you drop that loop. Then you yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over and draw through two. And yarn over and draw through two. Now we're going to front post treble in the next front post that's working behind these. Okay. Sometimes it's just easier just pull them down below where you're working and go around that post stitch. But sometimes it's hard to see where that post stitch is, so you kind of have to maneuver it, and you will get a rhythm in which works best for you. But I go behind the post stitch, and then I pop it through like that when I do it, and then through two, through two, and through two. Now that's the left crossed post stitch. Now I'm going to skip two post stitches and front post treble in the next two. So we're going to skip these two, front post treble in the next two. Yarn over twice, skip one, two. Got to get around that stitch. Sometimes you have to feel for it there. And I'm working through a viewfinder and not work, looking straight at my hands. So it can make it a little more difficult for me here. Yarn over twice, around, through. Okay, now this time we're going to work oh, in front of the post stitches we just made because we want the stitch to cross in the opposite direction. So this will be a little easier because we're not having to work behind the stitches. And you do your front post treble and then do it again and now your um, two cables should cross in opposite directions and that's how that looks now we're going to single crochet in next four single crochet 
So again, you skip the eight stitches you just made and single crochet in the next. So you should count them because it sometimes doesn't look like it's eight and you could end up with your thing being cockeyed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There next to my thumb. Make sure my yarn's behind my hook. And make my single crochet. One, two, three, four. four. And it says skip two post stitches and front post treble and next two. So we're going to do this again. Skip two, front post in the next two. And front, that's front post treble. They need to be just a little longer because they slant. Okay, and now we're going to yarn over twice in front post treble in the skipped ones. So we've got to go behind those that we just made and around the post of that stitch and drop a loop and make your treble. Yarn over twice behind those post stitches and around that post, front post double crochet below. And that's the hardest part of this is working behind your stitches. But once you get used to it, you'll be able to do it without a problem. So let's yarn over twice, and then we're going to skip two. Front post in the next two. Do it again. Okay, and we're going to yarn over twice. And we're going to go in front of them this time. Go to the ones I skipped and work your front post treble. Okay, then you should have your two crossed cables going opposite directions. Now we're going to single crochet in the next four single crochet. Again, skipping the eight that's behind it and working in the next one and going into four. One, two, three, four single crochet. And we've got one more to do. I'm going to yarn over twice, skip two, front post in the next post, yarn over twice, front post in the next, front post double crochet, yarn over twice, go behind the ones we just did, and into the skipped front post double crochet. and make a front post treble and do that again. And of course you can pause this and catch up as you, whenever you need to. Although I still struggle, like I said, I'm working through the viewfinder, so <laughs> there we go. And that's your first crossed stitch. Now we're going to go and work in these four here. Yarn over twice, skip two, go to the next one. Yarn over twice, go into the next one. Now we're going to cross in front, which is easier than crossing in the back, in my opinion. One, two, three. Yarn over twice, post to the next one, one, two, three, and then it, then we finish by single crocheting in the last 
to single crochet. And that was row seven. Your double crossed cables were in row seven. So you should have something that looks kind of like this. Now we're going to chain one and turn and work row eight by single crocheting and each stitch across the row. This video here and we will start the next video with rows nine through twelve. See you there. <laughs>